Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the midline theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So according to the theorem class, it says the length of the mid-segment will be equal to half the length of the third side. So we will be explaining it to one class, step by step. But before we explain the theorem, let's focus first class on the triangle. So if we have given triangle MGC, and we will get the midpoint of line segment MG. So once again, we get the midpoint of this line segment MG. So assuming that this is the midpoint. Let's assume class this is the midpoint of line MG. And we also get the midpoint of line GC, line segment GC. So this is the midpoint of line segment GC. And let's label this one class. The midpoint of line segment MG, that is A. And the midpoint of line segment GC, that is I. And if we connect this midpoint class, this one. So let's connect this midpoint class. If we connect this one, okay, this midpoint, line segment AI. Once again, this AI is parallel to this line, MC. According to the theorem class, okay, if we get the midpoint of MG, and we get the midpoint of GC, that is I. Okay, this is the midpoint of GC, that is I. According to the theorem, that the length of this mid-segment, okay, the length of this mid-segment, this one, the length of this AI, will be equal to the half of the length of the third side. So this is our third side. So the length of this one will be equal to the half of this length. What do you mean by that one, sir? Let's give an example, class, for you to understand this one. If this is 20 for MC, if MC is 20, therefore, AI will be 10. Why is that, sir? Because according to the theorem, that the length of this mid-segment, the length of this middle part class, the length of this mid-segment, is equal to one-half the length of this third side. So therefore, if this is 20, therefore, AI will be 10. Easy, right? So that's the thing there about midline term. Let's give another example, class. What if we say that AI, okay, what if we say if MC is 30? If MC is 30, class, what's the measure of AI? That's correct. AI should be 15. Why is that, sir? Because the length of this mid-segment will be equal to half the length of the third side. So half of 30, that is 15. So that's the thing there, class, about midline term. So let's give another example, class. What if we have the given... What if AI is 12? What would be the value of MC class? What's the value of MC? That's correct. It should be 24. Why is that, sir? It should be 24. Why is that, sir? Just simply multiply this one by 2. 12 times 2, that is 24. Okay? That is 24. Because 1 half of 24, half of 24, that would be 12. And that this is the length of AI. So I hope you understand this one class, the midline theorem, that this length will be 1 half the length of this third side. If this is 24, Therefore, AI is 12. If this is 12, if AI is given to get the value of MC, just multiply it by 2. 12 times 2, that is 24. Last example, class. If you understand this one, this will be really easy for your class. So what if we say that MC is 16? What's the value of AI, class? That's correct. It should be 8 because 1 half of 16 or half of 16, that would be 8. So that's the thing there about the midline term. Alright, now uh, with the sides class, with this one, with regards to the side, with regards to this side, since we cut this one, okay, we cut this line segment MG, okay, into two equal parts because we say that this A is the midpoint of this line segment MG, okay, once again, this A is the midpoint of this line segment MG, therefore, this line, okay, this line is congruent to this line. Why is that, sir? Because A is the midpoint of this line segment MG. We cut this MG into two equal parts. Therefore, just an example class, if this is 7, what would be the value of MA? So if GA, line segment GA is 7, what would be the value of MA class, line segment MA? That's correct, that would be 7. So once again, GA, line segment GA, is congruent to line segment MA. 
Why is that, sir? Because we cut this, this line into two equal parts because A is the midpoint of this line MG, line segment MG. Alright? Now, this I class is the midpoint of line segment GC. Therefore, we can say that GI, okay, line segment GI, okay, line segment GI is congruent to line segment CI. Okay, GI is congruent to line segment GI. This side is congruent to this side. Why is that, sir? Because I is the midpoint of this line segment GC. Okay? Once again, class, I is the midpoint of line segment GC. Therefore, this GI is equivalent to CI. So, if this is 8, just an example, class, if this is 8, what would be the value of CI? That's correct. It should be 8. It should be 8, class, because this side, okay, this line segment CI is congruent to line segment GI. Alright, so that's the thing there about midline theorem class. All set for this midline theorem. So let's answer this one. Then later on class, we will have examples in finding the x values. So more complicated examples. But once again class, do not be worried class because we will be answering this one step by step. Alright, so let's start answering this one. One, two, three. Then later on, we'll have examples for x values. Alright, so given. So let me just erase this one. Because we will be answering these questions. If you understand this one class, this will be really easy for your class. If you understand it, you're... Alright, number one. Given AI is 13, what is MC? So, we have AI is 13. Alright, and we're looking for MC. What's the length of MC class? That's correct. It should be 26. Why is that, sir? Because half of 26, that would be 13. Or to get MC, just simply multiply AI by 2. Okay, 13 times 2 that is 26 because half of 26 that's the measure of mid segment and that would be 30 that's it class that's the answer for number one easy right for number one now if the teacher will ask for solution this will be your solution class once again the length of this mid segment is half the length of the third side so ai the length of mid segment that is ai is one half the length of mc just in case class if the teacher will ask for solution so, AI, we have given AI, that is 13, equals 1 half of MC. So, we're looking for MC. To get the value of MC, just simply multiply both sides by 2, so that we can cancel this out. Okay, we can cancel this 2 class, because 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So, we can cancel this out, and then simply multiply 2 times 13. 2 times 13, that is 26 equals mc times 1 that is mc that's the solution class easy right for the solution but for me class it's better to just simply multiply this 13 by 2 and you will get the answer just in case class if the teacher will ask for the solution all right let's have number two easy right for number one now if gc is 32 okay so gc is 32 gc is 32 what would be the length of GI? What's the length of GI class? That's correct. If GC is 32, GI will be 16. Okay, this will be 16. Why is that, sir? Because if GI is 16, therefore, CI will be also 16. And 16 plus 16, that is 32. Once again, class, this side, okay, this line segment CI is congruent to line segment GI. So, 1 half of 32, that is 16. Because 16 plus 16, that is 32. Once again, G -I -G -C, sorry, CG or GC, okay, CG is 32. Therefore, GI must be 16. And CI must be 16. Because 16 plus 16, that is 32. This side is congruent to this side. Alright, so therefore, GI is 16. I hope you understand this one class number 2. GI is 16. Alright, if AG is 7. Okay, AG is 7. Okay, let me just erase this one. So we have given AG, that is 7. And CI is 8. Okay. AG is 7. 
and G I and C I is eight. So we're locking class for this question. A G is seven and C I is eight. So A G is seven and C I is eight. The question here, class, what is okay? What is M G and what's the value of M G and C G? This will be the question, class. All right. So if A G is seven. And C I is eight. What would be the value of M G and C J class? Could you try that? What's the value class? All right. So therefore, M G will be fourteen. Why is that, sir? Okay. Why is that, sir? Because if G A, okay, if G A is seven or A G is seven, therefore A M will be also seven, because this side is congruent to this side. Therefore, seven plus seven, M G will be fourteen. All right. I hope you understand this one. Does G, K A G is seven. Therefore, A M is also seven because this side is congruent to this side, and M G that would be fourteen. All right. And C G class. What's the value of C G? So if C I is eight, therefore G I is also eight. And to get the value of CG, just add this one. Eight plus eight, CG will be sixteen. All right, that's the question there, class, for number three. I forgot to write the question. All right, so easy, right, for numbers one, two, and three. All right, so let's proceed now to number four. We have given AI is equals to three x minus two, MC is equals to nine x minus thirteen, and the questions we have: What is the value of x? And what is the sum of AI plus MC? All right, let's label this up. AI 3x minus 2. And our MC, that is 9x minus 13. So we will write the equation, class, for this midline theorem. Once again, the mid-segment will be equal to half the length of the third side. So we can say that AI is equal to one-half of MC. That's the formula class. AI is equal to one half of MC. So to find the value of X class, we need to equate this one. AI is equals to one half of MC. So AI is three X minus two. Simply substitute the value of AI. That is three X minus two equals. So one half of MC is nine X minus thirteen. So one half times nine X minus thirteen. All right. So once again, you have two here for denominator. If you're dealing with equations class and you have a fraction, the thing that we will do class is we need to remove this denominator for us not to be confused because this will be confusing class if you have fractions. So how to remove this two, sir? Just simply multiply both equations class left and right by two. Multiply this one by two. Right, multiply this one by two. Why is that, sir? So that we can cancel two and two. Okay, so that we can cancel this out. So cancel this out because two divided by two that is one. So cancel this out and multiply this one by two. So three x minus two times two. So this will be two times three x minus two equals. So we already cancel two. This will be one times nine x minus three. Simply copy. Sorry, nine x minus thirteen. So simply copy nine x minus thirteen. All right, and then you distribute. So distribute this one. Distributive property: two times three x that is six x. Two times negative two that's negative four. Equals nine x minus thirteen. All right, so almost done, class. Next is we need to transpose six x from left to right. Okay, so that we can isolate x, so that the remaining equation on the right will be only x. Question, sir, why do we need to transpose six x from left to right? Why is it we will not transpose nine x from right to left? Now, if you transpose nine x from right to left, okay, let's do that. Six x, then we transpose this nine x from right to left. This is positive. Once you transfer from this equal sign, you change the sign. This is positive. It becomes negative nine x. And your answer class will be negative. And once again, it will be confusing class if your x value is negative. Okay, I hope you understand this one class. Do not transpose nine x from right to left because if we transpose nine x from right to left, 
this will be 6x minus 9x and the answer is negative 3x. And it will be confusing class if you have negative x value. So just simply transpose 6x from left to right so that our answer for x will be positive. Okay, because just, just in case class, if the x answer is example class x equals 5, this is just the same with 5 equals x. Once again, class, this is just the same. It doesn't matter if x value is on the right or if x value is on the left. This is just the same, class. Okay? x, equal fi x equals 5 is just the same with 5 equals x. So it doesn't matter if x value is on the right of this equal sign or if x value is on the left of this equal sign. It doesn't matter. So the thing that we will do, class, we just simply transpose 6x from left to right left to right class so that our x value will be positive and this 13 we transpose this one from right to left so all of the numbers we put it on the left side and for the x value we put it on the right side so this will be so negative 4 copy negative 4 we transpose negative 13 from right to left this is negative it will be positive 13 equals copy 9x 6x, transpose this one left to right. This is positive. It will be negative 6x. Alright, and then almost done. So we have 13 minus 4. What's the answer, class? Negative 4 plus 13. What's the answer for that? That's correct. Negative 4 plus 13. If they don't have the same signs, okay, negative 4, positive 13, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So 13 minus 4, that is 9. Okay, and then positive 9 plus because 13 is greater than 4. Positive 9, then 9x minus 6x, that's 3x. And to get the value of x, you divide both sides by 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3, cancel this out. And our x value, 9 divided by 3, that is equals to 3 equals x. 3 equals x is just the same with x equals 3. So this is just the same class. So therefore, our x value is 3. Alright, so x equals 3. That's the answer class for the first question. What is the value of x? That is x equals 3. Alright, so pause the video. I will be erasing this solution. Now, question number 2. What is the sum of ai plus mc? So, what's the sum of ai plus mc? What's the sum class? Did you answer that? Alright, so we're adding ai and mc. So, we have ai is equals to 3x minus 2. So the thing that we will do class, we just simply substitute this x value from this given equation. So our ai, that would be copy 3. Then our x is 3, so that would be 3 times 3. Once again class, if you have 3x close to each other, it means 3 times x. And our x is 3, so 3 times 3 minus 2. 3 times 3, that is 9 minus 2. So, AI, 9 minus 2, that would be 7. So, AI class is 7. Alright, so AI is 7. So, this is 7 plus MC. What is MC class? Let's substitute. Let me erase this one class. Pause the video. This is the answer for AI. Now, for MC, we have 9X minus 13. Simply substitute class. So, 9 and our X is 3. So, 9 times 3 minus 13. So, 9 times 3, that is 27 minus 13. 27 minus 13, that is 14. So, therefore, MC is 14. And 7 plus 14, that is 21. That's the answer, class. 21 for the sum of MC. Alright, so I hope you understand this one class. Let's try last example class for you to really understand this one. Finding the y values. More complicated class. Alright, let's try number 5. Alright, so number 5 class, last question. Given MG, line segment MG is congruent to line segment CG. So this MG is congruent to CG. Alright, so this side is congruent to this side. So, MG is congruent to CG. Alright, and we have given AG, okay, AG, that would be 2Y minus 1, so this one. Alright, so AG, that is 2Y minus 1. And we have IC, that is Y plus 5. 
So, I see that is y plus 5. Now, since this is congruent class, their midpoint must be the same. Okay, once again class, this is congruent class. Mg is congruent to Cg. Therefore, their midpoint is also congruent class. This side is congruent to this side. This side is congruent to this side. This side class will be also congruent to this side. Because we cut this one into two equal parts. Therefore, this side is congruent to this side. This side is congruent to this side. Okay, so this side is congruent to this side. This side is congruent to this side. Question, why is that, sir? Because Mg is congruent to Cg. Therefore, they have equal sides. And we cut this one into two equal parts because this is the midpoint. I is the midpoint of Cg. And A is the midpoint of Mg since we have equal in measure. Just in case, class, example, class, if Mg is 10, Cg will be also 10. According to the statement, they are congruent. Now, if this is 10, half of this one, this will be 5, this will be 5, this will be 5, this will be 5. Okay, I hope I hope it's clear for you, class, that Mg is congruent to Cg. So, if this is 10, this will be also 10. Now, half of 10, because this is the midpoint, this is 5, this is 5, this is 5, this is 5. Alright, so if you understand that one, easy class, just simply equate, okay, 10 is just an example class, so simply equate this one, we can say that 2i, okay, that ag, we can say that ag, line, a, line segment ag is congruent to line segment ci, because this side is congruent to this side, and their half measure is equal also. So, AG is 2Y minus 1 equals CI, that is Y plus 5. So, to get the value of Y, transpose Y from right to left and this one from left to right. So, this will be 2Y. This is positive Y. It will be negative Y equals copy 5. This is negative 1. It will be positive 1. So, 2Y minus Y, that is Y. 5 plus 1, that is 6. That's it, class. That's the value of y. What is the value of y? That is 6. So, y equals 6. Alright, so y equals 6. First answer, class. y equals 6. Now, next question, how long are mg and cg? Okay, let's find mg and cg. Alright, let's find first ag, class. AG. So, AG equals 2Y minus 1. So, 2Y minus 1. So, 2Y. So, we have 2 and our Y is 6. 2 times 6 minus 1. So, 2 times 6, that is 12 minus 1. 12 minus 1, AG is 11. Alright, so AG is 11. Therefore, IC is also 11. Because this side is congruent to this side. Let's check class. IC equals Y plus 5. So IC equals our Y is 6. 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5, that is 11. So IC is 11. Alright, but that's not the answer class. This is just the value of AG, that is 11. And IC, that is 11. We're looking for MG. So MG, so if this is 11 for AG, therefore... MA is also 11. And 11 plus 7, that is MG. Alright? So, therefore, MG, let me just write it here. MG is equals to 11 plus 11, that is 22 for MG. Alright? And for CG, so CI is 11, therefore, IG is also 11. And 11 plus 11, CG, that is 22. That's it class, all set for number 5. That's all for midline theorem class. So I hope you learned something new today. Now if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Especially class to those students who are really struggling in solving math problems. Once again class, this is teacher MJ. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.